everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be my June favourites. Now I've not got a whole lot of new products to show you but I have got some old favourites and a couple of new bits as well so I thought I would share them with you. Um, so I'll start with the hair stuff and the first one is something I mentioned before, it's the Ojan Revitalising Mist. I used to use this religiously about two years ago when I had longer hair as well. And I never repurchased it because it's quite expensive, it's about £20 a bottle. And I picked this up um, a while ago actually at one of the outlet stores at Cheshire Oaks and I've been using it a lot since and I've just fallen back in love with it again. It's just so good at detangling the hair and stopping it looking so frizzy. Um, as you know, um, if you've watched me before and if you haven't, hello. Um, my hair is quite frizzy naturally, it's very very sort of thick and coarse and it needs a lot of taming and this is just amazing for that. It's a refreshing weightless leave-in detangler and it, that's exactly what it is. You can use this on any day old hair, you can use it on wet hair and it just works so well um, to make your hair sort of like sleek and shiny and get rid of all that frizz as well. I'm sorry if you can hear sort of gardening in the background. I've tried to film this at a quiet time and as luck always is, I've sat down to film, got the lights on and everything, and the streaming has started again. So apologies if you can hear that in the background. Uh, the next thing I've been loving is the Percy and Reed Volumizing No Oil Oil. Now I've talked about this before on my blog, but I'm not sure if I've mentioned it in a video. Um, I got this in a birch box and I also got one on Elle magazine. This is really, really good. It's more like a serum than an oil and you can use it on any day old hair. It's supposed to be really good for fine hair. Obviously I can't try that because I've got thick hair, but I really really like this again for smoothing and getting rid of the frizz and it's really quite nice. If you've got that textured look, sometimes a lot of oils can sort of detract from that and make it look a bit too sleek and too done. This doesn't, it gives like nourishment and shine without sort of like taking any of that messy style away, which I really like. Um, I've usually always got this in my hair because it's just so good. I put it in more or less every day and it never makes my hair look greasy either which is also a really good thing because a lot of oils can make your hair look quite greasy and quite sort of wet which I don't like so yeah I'm really really impressed with that and I don't know if you can see but I've used sort of like almost down to there now next is a body spray now I've I think I showed these in a haul um, and then I've done a blog post on them I think uh, but the one I've been loving most recently is Love Spell these are the Victoria's Secret fragrance mist and this one is cherry blossom and peach these are really good to spray on I used to spray them on in the morning and they just give a really nice scent and they're great for the summer as well and I just like them I always layer mine with perfume but they are quite strong so um, it's up to you whether you do that or not I really like this one it's very sort of fresh quite fruity but not too sort of sticky fruity because I don't really like that scent and yeah I've used quite a lot of it as you can see and I really recommend these um, if you're looking for a, like a body spray and if you're not into this scent there's loads of scent there must be about 20 different ones so I'm sure you'll find one that you like next onto a product that was I also got free on a magazine I got this free on Bazaar magazine I think it was it's the Ren Vitamineral Lip Balm now you know well you may know if you've been with me for a while that I used to be really 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 into Ren skincare and recently I've sort of gone back to Liz Earl and haven't repurchased any Ren, not for any particular reason, just that I haven't repurchased it. Um, but yeah, I got this and it's really, really good. I use, usually use the Nukes Roft Meal Lip Balm. This one is in a tube, which is a lot more hygienic, especially if you're on the go. Very, very nourishing. It doesn't really have um, a nice taste or anything. It's just kind of one of those like um, tasteless ones but it's really really good at hydrating the lips, helps with like dry patches and stuff like that and it's really really good. Um, I think it's about £9 on its own but you don't need much and it's very very good. Last sort of beauty product is the NARS Sheer Glow Foundation. Now I used to use this all the time last summer but um, it got a bit dark for me. Recently I've been mixing it with my L'Oreal True Matte Foundation and it's worked really really well. This is the shade Santa Fe, it's still a little bit too dark for me. Um, it's sort of my self tan shade but I've just forgotten how much I like the foundation, how well it looks on the skin, how natural it looks um, so yeah I really really like this, I'm not quite sure how much is left in this um, but yeah I'll definitely have to repurchase it if it does run out. Last but not least is a fashion favourite and it's my rag and bone jacket um, that I showed in one of my CK Maxx hauls. 
I absolutely love this jacket and it's just my favourite. Every time I've worn it, I've had so many compliments, so many people ask me where it's from. Someone even tagged me on Instagram to tell me that Kate Moss had worn the same one. And it's just, it does attract a lot of attention but I always love wearing it and I just really, really like it. I'm so glad I bought it. So that's my fashion favourite for the month. So um, I hope you enjoyed this video. Please give it a thumbs up if you did and tell me below in the comments what you've been loving this month and I'll see you next time. Bye. Hey, oh, oh, oh.